So I'm Frank Pelicano. Um, I am work with Persistent Construction. I've been a project manager here with this company for the last 18 years. In the past, we've had, I've actually come out and saw cut the road uh, ahead of time so that when the crews are here, they can, uh, they can start working and be efficient. Where today, I mean, we saw we milled the road with the zipper for 15 minutes and the crews are already working, putting a pipe in the ground. So, I mean, the efficiency that it helps us with and it makes our prices more competitive because now we can put pipe in the ground faster. So the zipper, um, you know, this particular machine is everything that it was uh, advertised to be to us. Um, the operation of it is tremendously simple compared to I ran a zipper about 22 years ago or so. Um, a little more difficult. We had to, you know, like clutch engage was a big lever that we actually engaged manually. Uh, where today, you know, it's a everything's a push of a button. But the machine, I mean, it goes through the black top like it's like it's butter. It's amazing. It's an absolutely amazing machine. We're very, very happy with the way it operates. So what we're doing today is installing a sanitary force main. We actually installed 5,000 feet of this force main. We started up on the other side of Route 10 and came down here to Ridgedale Avenue. I was able to cut 200 to 220 feet of trench in 20 minutes each time, which is the, the section of pipe we were putting in. So Within 20 minutes, I had the trench cut and ready for the guys to work for the rest of the day. Um, where before the conventional ver version of that would be saw cut, and rip out the blacktop, and you're talking about hours as opposed to you know putting a zipper in the ground for 20 minutes and it's clean and we're ready to go. This machine pulverizes the material so fine that we're able just to mix it with the dirt and it just gets uh, processed with the dirt itself. So we don't have to separate chunks of blacktop like we used to in the past. Now it just all gets separated into one. You know, we can put it all into one truck and just take it out of the site. It's uh, it's it's such a time saver. But the guys love it. Uh, I mean, you can see today, like even if I had to tell them that we had a jackhammer a trench, they'd ask me to see if we could zip it. So yeah, they love it. They they absolutely love it. So on Route 10, we were cutting through 10 inches of blacktop. Here on Ridgedale Avenue, we have eight inches. It, it doesn't. It's amazing because the 10 inches or the eight inches, it just it eats it up the same way. I mean, that's that's a thick amount of asphalt to go through, and, and it just it just cruises right along. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Teeth have lasted a long time, too. I, I do want to say something about that. I think I cut almost 900 feet before we had to change teeth, and we didn't even have to change all the teeth. Uh, there were just sporadic teeth here and there on the drum that needed to be changed. Um, but, yeah, we got almost 900 feet cutting 10, 10 inches thick before we had to worry about teeth. So, yeah, it was pretty amazing. Jason's an awesome guy. Uh, he... He came out and did a demonstration for us. Um, he was great on the explanations. He did all the safety tips with me, um, explained everything to the T. Uh, I mean, he came out the first night when we cut. After 10 minutes, um, I mean, I had it. Uh, that's how good he was in teaching us how to do it. Uh, he actually came back afterwards, followed up with us, and see how, uh, how the machine was running. And I, I can't say enough about him. He's an awesome guy.